to the channel animated alex here hope you're all doing well what i'm playing here on the screen at the moment isn't the finished version okay because i wasn't happy with the way it was looking um i have got something playable now that is the main thing that i'm trying to get from these projects it's, it's okay making it look like the original game as much as i possibly can but it's got to be playable so yeah i think i've hopefully have achieved that now so yeah i didn't like this version um i feel that my trees are a little bit on the chubby side yeah they're a little bit too wide so i changed it to this now as you can see the trees are a lot more slimmer and i think it works a lot better now um tell me what you think in the comments that's all i can say it, it has improved the glitching and the the blur which i was getting when i showed you in the part one video by changing everything to user defined graphics because obviously with the trees now because i've put texture in them and you can see the background color coming through them slightly like the original it has helped kind of take your eye away from it in my personal opinion anyway but yeah like i said i've got something playable now and as you can see we're shooting a little motorbike that i've put in there as an enemy just for something to to shoot you know um one of the problems i have had is trying to get that motorbike to actually move with the trees it works sometimes but then i end up with the trees not disappearing from the screen and it becomes a right mess on the screen so that is something i'm still working on because i would like the motorbike that you're shooting to actually be moving with the trees because i think it looks pretty cool you know it doesn't look right with it just being in a on the, on a grass field if you like with nothing else um if i can't get get it to work get the trees to move with the motorbike then um i'll leave it as as you see here you know because it works and this was just a challenge which i wanted to try and I personally think I've done a good job. I don't know what you think, but I'm quite chuffed with this, to be fair. Um, yeah, so Death Crawl, also known as Death Chase, but obviously Death Chase is a lot better than this. <laughs> Absolutely. So let's run it through the Machine Code Compiler Mcoder 3, and let's have a look at it. So to compile this, stop the program, stop the game. Um, and then you need to get mcoder 3 up so on the, the retro the spectrum i'm going to use that to do this to show you because i know there's a, a few of you out there now that have got the retro the spectrum and you're trying to do exactly what i'm trying to do now um first things first you need to get mcoder 3 and i'll put a link for that down in the comments um here is the website that i got it off so find that Download it, it'll come down as a zip file, unzip it, and then put your USB card or your USB stick, I should say, into your laptop or your computer, and then dump that file onto your USB to get it back onto the, the retro, the Spectrum. Or if you're using Fuse or any other um, ZX Spectrum emulator, obviously you can do it all on your laptop. But going back to the retro, the Spectrum, Okay, Mcoder 3 is already on my USB stick. So if I push the little button on the back right hand side of the spectrum, that will then take me to the options menu, media select, M to select. Okay, now the first thing I need to do, you see I've got Def Chase there in my current media. Okay, that's actually my Def Crawl. So current media, I need to clear that, F to clear that. I've got a lot of programs on my USB because obviously, as you know, I do a lot of programming. So now I need to find mcoder 3. There it is. So M to select. And then B to close. B to close. That takes me back to my program. Now the mcoder 3 is now in the background waiting for me to load it in. So let's load it. So J 
for load and then our two speech marks cap shift symbol shift and i to get code up and we push enter and away it goes and we just let it do its thing okay so it's now going to do this it's going to take maybe two to three minutes to do it you know it takes quite a while depending on how long your program is so let's fast forward this video and get to the end of it so I can talk about the next bit. Right, so when it's finished, you'll be greeted with that, okay? Now, if you want, you can just start it straight away by go to and you put the first line number or whatever the program was. So in my case, my program starts from the line number one. But I'm not going to do that for this because I want to save this first. So on the back of the spectrum, again, push the right hand side button. Get you up to your media, media select, M to select. Now I want to clear that because obviously I don't want my saved copy to go into encoder 3. So clear that, go back, go back again, save. And I'm going to call it uh, code DC. Now I could just push enter, but I want it to start automatically. So when I load it, it just starts straight away. So cap shift, symbol shift to get my E up, symbol shift again, and three will get me line, the command line. Now, like I just said with the go to, my program starts from line number one. So I put line number one there. I then push enter enter again and it will save it so now it's saved I need to reset the spectrum so again the right hand button on the back of the spectrum go down to machine reset M select now I've got the um, the original ROMs in my spectrum okay which I will do another video I should do a video on this really about the ROMs and how you get them onto the spectrum but I think there's videos already on YouTube explaining how to do this so I don't really want to repeat what they've done unless you want me to do a video on that let me know in the comments so 48k enter so I've now cleared the memory, so I've cleared everything, so we're ready to go back to our options to get our media select. And I called it uh, code DC, there it is there. Put that into our current media, push enter, and there you go, it loads up straight away. And I've got a feeling it's pretty quick already. <laughs> so let's push two for Kempstone and let's see what the improvement is with it being um, compiled. Whoa, <laughs> so yeah, it's, um, we're motoring, we're not pedaling anymore. We've got an engine. So I've actually um, pushing the joystick pad down so that it's running in slow so I can actually play it. If I push up, it'll then go quicker. So it's now got that original Def Chase speed to it. Probably a little bit too fast. <laughs> I mean, Def Chase is a fast moving game, so this needed to be compiled. It's a little bit too fast when we get to the motorbike, so I will have to return to the basic. Seems strange saying it, but I need to slow the basic down and then recompile it to get this motorbike to be a little bit slower. 
But yeah, what a difference in speed. Let's have another go. It's almost impossible to um, shoot that bike at that speed. But yeah, good results with it being compiled. I'm liking this. So there's potential there to make this better now if I'm going to um, carry on with the project. And, and, and my um, main goal is to compile it at the end of it. Need to improve that shooting as well because it's not getting direct contact with that motorbike. There, yeah, I got him. There, so there you go. There's the compiled version. And I'm impressed with that. And uh, it's given me scope to uh, improve it, definitely. So anyway, I think that's enough for this video. I hope you've enjoyed my attempt at making Def Chase a.k.a. Death Crawl. And um, do I carry on? Do I try and fine-tune it a bit? Obviously, I know I, I said I want to um, do some work and, and get that motorbike, the enemy motorbike moving with the trees. But should I bother or should I just leave it what I've done? Um, let me know in the comments uh, when this is finished, when the decision is made. I will let this um, go on to itch. And I will put the basic version up and the compiled version. So you'll have a choice to play either. So anyway, thank you very much. And um, take care of yourselves. And I'll see you on the next one.